right everyone so today I'm at Kurara Markets on the Gold Coast it's located uh, sort of behind Broad Beach and it's been around for a long long time actually have all different things here food and clothes and uh, watches So, yeah, it's kind of like a staple to uh, Gold Coasters coming here. It's also a bit of a tourist attraction. If you know where the Gold Coast is, it's uh, heaps of tourists come here. So, this is Retro Buzz. Retro Buzz uh, opened a couple of years ago and they sell quite a lot of um, old gaming stuff. And uh, it's one of my favorite stores to come check out uh, some of the gear can be a little bit on the rough side uh, but you can find some hidden gems in here too so I haven't filmed here before to show every everyone uh, our retro stores that we've got here so in Brisbane we don't have any uh, we unfortunately have to come down to the Gold Coast to, to go in to this store and another store but yeah they sometimes have some boxed stuff and got some PSPs over there which is really cool Sing Stars the Vetrex uh, That's nice. It's actually a nice box on that. Grand Turismo pack. And I always love getting Sega games here. Kind of gets me a little bit excited, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I always find games that I don't have, and I add a few every once in a while. So I've got quite a selection. a few of these games now but I'm sure I'll find a hidden one here somewhere I love Chuck Rock Chuck Rock's one of my favorite games on the Master System so much fun some Wii there not that I'm really in the market for Wii I tend to find the games pretty cheap myself anyway when I check out uh, cash converters and stuff so Prices on the PSP games actually, like some are six, seven, eight, uh, like Siphon Filter games, are eight on those. Probably not bad prices. And the Silent Hill is 40. Do love collecting for the PSP as well, it's a good, good unit, and I like the UMDs as well. The, Movies. Might come back to uh, have another look at those. So the SNES, pretty nice boxes, better than all condition I've got. Um, they've got 265 on them. And the NES is 350. That top one's pretty mint. Heaps of 360 PS3. There's also some PS3 here before I miss this cabinet, but I can see some boxed 
fitness games, which I'm really eager to go and get in front of. So we'll come back around here. Oh, Xbox games. Everyone keeps telling me to start collecting for it. Um, Zapper gun, $50. 35 for it, the other one. I really want this. I missed out on getting one boxed for $50 a few years back. I procrastinated. I should have got it. Alright. So some Independence Day, do we have that on PS1? I didn't even know there was a game that came out. It's 20 bucks. Deer Slights and Game Boys. Aussie. Oh, they do have the Aussie one. 170. 170. That's bad. Yeah, it's probably not bad. You don't so, see box. Yeah, you don't see that box. So that's the Game Boy Color Australian release one. It's pretty cool. Oh, Tiny Toon Game, PS1, I haven't seen that one before. Buster and the Beanstalk. I think I might have to get that, that's $20. Oh, Mario Kart 8. I've actually got a good selection of PS1 games here today. Oh, look at this cute little Pokemon bag. Oh my god. Daddy is so cute. It's forty dollars though. Forty-five. Oh, there's some Game Boy Advance games. There's Simpsons Road Rage for twenty in there, and a few other things. So, oh, there's the Simpsons Wrestling box. This one. Sweet. That Master System 2 is really mint box. Some Mega CDs games, there's Final Fight. And then there's stuff at the back. I can't quite see what they all are. Oh, I've been wanting that. Resident Evil Chainsaw, but I really want a box. Sounds really cool. It's like a mummy game. It's a Pokemon N64. They have ducktails. 
which is one I've been wanting. And they've got a Japanese Pikachu. It's pretty cool. I've got one here. There's some GameCube games over the back there. There's some um, Disney's Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. I don't have that game. Thing. What is that? Oh my god. That is so cool. I think I want that. It's $40 though. It's supposed to be on a spending ban. And then there's just some controllers down the bottom. So much stuff. Haven't even got to the counters yet. Oh, they've got a watermelon N64 box up the top there. But yeah, heaps of Xbox, PS2. Five dollars for Far Cry Instincts. That looks pretty cool. see down there nothing off the top of my head that's really jumping out more PS2 Sounds like Retro Gamer Guy is uh, talking to the guy, trying to work out some PS1 games he's probably after. It's a PSP accessory bag we don't have. Let's see if they'll do me a deal on that. Oh, over the back there. I see Harvest Moon. Lufia, that's got six ninety nine on it. That's crazy. All right, N sixty four carts and SNES carts, heaps of them. Some Atari. some boxed games as well which is really good to see love it love it some maybe more newer stuff in here which is cool and they've also got some arcades they didn't have pinballs last time retro gamer guy's gonna love playing this Oh, there's a crystal. Oh, and I wonder what they've done to that one. At the front there. If someone knows, let me know in the comment section what that looks like, what's happened to it. And just some other random bits and pieces here. Oh, they still have it um, over here as well. They've got Crazy Taxi, which I absolutely love. And they've got a cool boom box there. Just all sort of more current games, but nothing 
really after just today. Oh, it's not working. I love that crazy taxi machine. Boxed games. They have Parodius Pal. They have Final Fight. Uh, yeah, there's some good games there, but I don't know. They probably have a lot of money put on that Parodius. Light gun. It's a bit rough. But still cool. And the disc men starting to do a little bit more like 90s stuff. The chipped consoles got lots of halos over there I think I see five and then the clear we've got four of hey how you doing yeah 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 all good thank you I didn't think we had Independence Day. That's a good find. The Independence Day pinball's in there too. Oh, really? In the other room, yeah. Uh, can I have a look at some of the box nest games? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. I just you can't. Can I, I just can't read so far away. I'm like blind. All right. Crash test dummies, that's such a classic. <laughs> All the good stuff's always at the back. Away. Yeah, I know. Oh, not these ones. Okay, it's just like seeing a couple of PSP games. It's all good. All right. So I think there's a couple of games that I would like to get. Obviously, Retro Gamer Guy has got out the um, Independence Day one, which is cool. I'm still considering whether or not I want to get this boxed Australian Game Boy colour, I'm not sure. There's Buster and the Beanstalk. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is Retro Buzz and we do enjoy coming down here. Um, it's a great little store. There's a lot of stuff behind the counter though uh, that the owner um, doesn't have for sale. And I always try and go and have a look, but you know, as you can tell, it's not for sale. Uh, but up the back there, I'm hoping it's in the shot. There's quite a lot of consoles and there's even a Super Mario Brothers boxed unit. Uh, I think that's been here maybe since the last time I was here. Uh, that particular one is in as great condition as the store um, that I ended up finding it later on um, at. But yeah, it's uh, good fun coming here. And having a look around so yeah it's just a bit overwhelming sometimes when you walk in and you're like oh my god there's so many games I've got to go through and it's obviously good to find yourself some some hidden gems along the way but I hope you you guys have really enjoyed the look around this particular store we got a lot more planned to get around today oh 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 my god I almost missed it they have the Simpsons PSP up there oh my god um, I'm gonna find out how much is on that because there's no price that I can see and that's one I've really really wanted um, okay that's cool <laughs> just before I'm about to wrap up I find something awesome uh, but yeah, if you are on the Gold Coast in Australia and would like to come and see this store, it's only open uh, two days a week, so Saturday and Sunday the markets are open and uh, it can be found under Retro Buzz on Gumtree Classifieds. So we had a pretty successful shop. It wasn't large by any means, uh, what we've got today, but Independence Day for $20 and it looks pretty I don't know what to expect from the game, but yeah, the cover looks awesome, so that's going to be cool. I ended up getting the Tiny Toon Adventures. This looks like a platformer, Buster and the Beanstalk. I've got a bit of a thing for Tiny Toons at the moment. And the last game that we got was Aliens vs Predator Requiem on the PSP, also complete. So all of these are complete, uh, and I thought pretty good value. So this was 10 and the other two were 20 each. So yeah, we're just going to head back now uh, to go to a couple of the cash converter stores that we normally hit up. Alright, so we're at cash converters. Hey, how you doing? Alright. Games. Games, games, games. <laughs>
spotted a uh, op shop and if memory serves me right that is a Far Cry figurine and it's got five bucks on it so I think I'll nab that some um, good value PS3 games today which would be awesome. Hitting up another cash converters. Uh, 
Xbox 360 games, uh, five for $20. That's a fair few there.
just arrived home and I'm pretty excited to go through all of the finds that we've uh, been able to stumble across today. Now in this video you would have seen that we went to another retro store. This one is called Retro Buzz. It's located at Carrara Markets. A uh, few guys uh, have asked me on the channel so far had I been to that store and obviously given their opinions as well. Uh, the stuff is a little bit rough. Uh, they do put some of the, the, of the games in the sun as well. It's just obviously due to the shop positioning as well. Uh, but as I said during, during the video, you can find stuff in the cabinets. I've found quite a lot of Sega Master System games over time and I have found some uh, Game Boy ones, uh, boxed Game Boy games as well. Uh, so I would recommend going and checking that store if you want to. Uh, the other stores I went to were all cash converters and some of them op shops. And uh, I didn't spend a lot of money today. I did buy a few bits and pieces, but let's go through them all. So we'll start with Retro Buzz. I ended up uh, getting Independence Day the game. Now this is more so for Retro Gamer Guy, but we really do love Independence Day. And uh, the movie is fantastic. It's one of our, you know, favorite childhood movies. And we didn't actually know about this game. And it is a Fox Interactive. Now I'm not sure what quality it's going to be like, but uh, if you have played it and you do like it, let me know. It's in pretty good shape. It is complete and it ended up being $20, so we had to walk away with it. It was, um, you know, too good to be true. The other game that we ended up getting is Tiny Toon Adventures Buster and the Beanstalk. Now, I do love the Tiny Toons. I love, uh, obviously, a, a few of the games. I've been adding them to the collection over the last year. And this one looks like a really cute platformer. So I'm looking forward to playing this one. It ended up being $20, but it does have a crack on the front of the case. Now, I do have cases from time to time that I keep spare if they're missing, you know, the disc or the manual or something like that. So I will just change that over and I have a pretty clean copy of the game. The last item that we ended up getting at Retro Buzz was Aliens vs Predator Requiem on the PSP. I didn't know about this game either. And it's a Sierra game. I'm really looking forward to playing this on the PSP. I love Predator. So this sort of like goes hand in hand with a game that I'm going to like. So uh, I ended up looking up a few YouTube videos on it while I was down there and looks really enjoyable. So let me know if you've got that game and if you like it. But that was a tenner. So I thought that was pretty good. Now, leaving there, uh, we had gone to, uh, we traveled to a few cash converter stores and then across the way I ended up finding and um, just seeing op shops as well, which is really cool. And one of the items that I ended up getting from an op shop was the Far Cry 4 figurine. Now this is a uh, very nice condition. It's filthy, it's really dirty, but I was really happy to end up finding this. So I've uh, been playing a little bit of Far Cry 4. I need to finish the game. Uh, but yeah, this was a great $5 find. It's in excellent condition. Nothing is chipped off it. The guns are on it. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was really happy that I ended up finding that. That was pretty cool. Then we went to one cash converter store, and at that store we ended up finding two items. One is a UMD video, Screamers, Shockers, and Sharpshooters. Now this video will be a, a, a an exclusive possibly to Australia. Uh, it would have been sold here because it's official AFL product. Uh, and it's just gonna have some videos of uh, Australian football in it, and I think this could be a lot of fun to watch. So we'll probably pop that in and have a giggle about it. And lastly, at that particular store, I'd sort of given up going through looking for stuff. I just didn't feel like there was anything there that I was, you know, really looking for. But Retro Gamer Guy persisted and he ended up finding this game, Driven to Destruction. It ended up being $3. So this one was two, discounted from five. Uh, and this one was three. It's complete. The disc's in pretty good shape as well. Uh, but the game looks awesome. Uh, it says it's real, it's ugly, it's racing. Uh, and a brutal competition. So it sort of looks like an, an updated maybe uh, destruction derby. It looks super cool. And I tried to find some information about it uh, on eBay just to get a price guide on it. And I'm not sure if it's a little bit harder to find here in Australia, uh, but let me know if you've got it uh, and sort of what, you know, if $3 was a good price for it. 
Then, the other cash converters that we went to, they had from memory, I think it was five games for $10. So I obviously took them up on their offer and I went through and I picked out some titles that I didn't have on the PS2 and also the PS3. So I walked away with two PS2 games, one of which is Dance Stage Supernova. Now, this game looks really cool. Uh, I love dancing games and you know, I've been collecting them for a little while now, not just on PS2, but I have a couple for the N64 as well. And I'm, um, yeah, really looking forward to playing it. And it, this one ended up being $2. It's one that I hadn't found in stores before. So yeah, it's, it looks really cool and it's complete. The other one is Singstar Boy Bands vs Girl Bands. It's got quite a few good tracks on it as well. Boys to Men, uh, Boy Zone, E17, uh, Banana Rama, En Vogue, Spice Girls. So yeah, even though I'm a, a bit of a metal head, I do like these games. I think they're a bunch of fun when you have friends over and you have like maybe drinking competition. Uh, so yeah, this one is in nice shape and it ended up being uh, $2. So I think this one's a little bit more pricier out of all of the SingStar games along with the Disney one here in Australia. Then uh, I ended up getting uh, quite a few PS3 games. Uh, so Borderlands 2 is one of them. Didn't even realize I, I couldn't believe that I didn't have this game. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City looks unreal. Uh, another Capcom game added to the collection. Saints Row 2. Haven't played any of the, this franchise before, but it looks like a gangster style game and uh, could be pretty fun. I was able to snag Infamous 1 and Infamous 2. So uh, these games look, look pretty good. Uh, the second one says being a hero is optional, so maybe it's a choice based game as well, which I'm starting to really get into. Far Cry 2. Uh, this looks really cool. Um, as I said, I'm just starting to really get into Far Cry and play through the games. And I am enjoying it so far, but I've heard some mixed reviews from different people of which Far Cry is their favorite. So maybe let me know if Far Cry 2 is a really good one. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, Assassin's Creed, again, is another game franchise that I haven't played a lot of. I do have Origins and I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, but yeah, these games for $2 each, I couldn't pass them up. So I have the complete collection to go back to. And the last PS3 game is Marvel Superhero Squad Comic Combat. Uh, this one you need the U draw for, and it's drawing, fighting, uh, obviously competition between you and another person. Looks pretty cool, and who doesn't love Marvel? It's pretty awesome. And then lastly, this wasn't a pickup from the day of shopping. Uh, it is actually a pickup that came in the mail, and it's Fahrenheit. Now, a lot of people let me know that the Heavy Rain game wasn't the first in the series. I did think it was. So as soon as I found out and had a recommendation to go and check this game out, I went and bought it straight away. So I ended up getting this for $19.95 delivered to my house. And it's awesome condition. It's much better than I thought it was going to be for the price. A lot of them were a bit more expensive than this. So it's going to be the last one in the series I play because I've played Heavy Rain. I'm playing Beyond Two Souls now and I will get Detroit next, so then I'll go back and play this one first. And I'm looking forward to doing that. It looks like a cool game, I'm liking all these choices, and uh, Quantic Dream seemed to have made a game style that I didn't think I was going to be really into, but I've sort of fallen in love with. Uh, but anyway, on uh, Beyond Two Souls, uh, please join me for some of my live streams and other video games that I'm gonna be playing. I try and do it most afternoons. Join me in a live stream and say hello. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get more of these videos shot very soon uh, and more retro game hunting uh, inside, uh, in and around Brisbane. I'd like to hit some country towns as well if I can. And uh, yeah, just obviously share retro hunting and game hunting in Australia with you guys. I'll try and do a video maybe once a fortnight or something like that. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned to more of my new content and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.